For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and welcome back to another Mask R.I.P. review. And if you didn't know, today marks the 15th anniversary of one of my favorite horror films, 2004's Saw, directed by Lee Winnell and James Wan. And because of that movie, I really wanted to review a mask. I've already talked about the Jigsaw uh, John Kramer face masks before. You can check out those videos on my channel. But I wanted something a bit different, so I went up to Spirit Halloween today, and I picked up the pig face mask, and that's what I'll be reviewing for you all today. So this is a mask by Trick or Treat Studios, and was sculpted by Neil Kenmore, who has done some amazing sculpting throughout the years. He was featured in John Carpenter's The Thing. His masks have been used for Halloween Horror Nights, and he sculpted this incredible mask based off of the pig-faced uh, mask in the Saw movies. So the pig face is an interesting character throughout the universe of the Saw films because no one person wears the mask. In the original Saw, it's John Kramer who wears it, uh, and possibly Zep, I'm not sure. In the sequel, of course, Amanda wears it, uh, and throughout the series, different people don the pig mask. It's kind of just a way for people to hide their cover when doing the dirty work. So it's not a character in and of itself, but different characters from the franchise donning the mask, which makes sense. Kind of like the Scream movies, if you will. I'm not exactly sure where the pig comes in. In Jigsaw, we learn that John Kramer owned a farmhouse, so perhaps that's where the, the idea of pigs came into play. And because there are pig gizzards in some of the movies too, I don't know a lot about the sequels. I'm mostly just a fan of the original and Saw 2 and Jigsaw. Those are kind of the main ones I like. But anyways, you can see this is a great sculpt. It looks just like the pig mask seen in the movies. It has real stitching on the mouth. There are two stitches on this side, three on this side, which is pretty interesting. The snout looks realistic. The entire mask looks pretty realistic. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually similar to a Don Post mask, which they actually used in the movie Jigsaw. So there is a long history with the pig mask, but it looks great. Uh, you know, you could put the hair in the face. You could put it out of the face. It's, it's worn differently throughout different movies. Kind of like that is the best look that I can remember from the movies with the hair kind of being in the face. But you can see the ears here are really well done. They look like real pig ears. And something you may not know upon first glance is that the back of the mask actually has an entire ripped up bone sticking out of it with gory blood. And it looks great. It's really creepy. And the blood looks actually wet. It's not, of course, it's paint, but it looks realistic, which is cool. And I wouldn't have guessed that would have been a part of the Saw mask, so perhaps I'll have to watch the movies again to see if that's in there. I know he wears a hood a lot of the time, so interesting. Like I said, this was sculpted really, really well. The paint job looks great, and it's it's certainly a creepy mask. I got this at Spirit Halloween on a discount with a coupon, so it came out to around 50 bucks, which really isn't terrible for a great quality mask. The fit is very nice, it's not too snug, you can see out of it quite well, and it's breathable. So overall, if you want a creepy mask for Halloween, you can't really go wrong with the old pig face here, or whatever you want to call him. With that said, I think I'm going to have to give this Jigsaw Pig Face Saw Mask a 5 out of 5 skulls on the R.I.P. Reviews rating scale. This is quite the mask to have for Halloween, especially with Saw's anniversary this year, so get excited, because Halloween is almost here. Thank you all for watching, and remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.